Hey guys, you here, right? Hey, Jean, it's 8.20 a.m. Uh, while I'm doing this commentaries live. Um, I haven't slept yet, so I'm extremely tired, but I wanted to show you guys something for those of you that are interested in um, content creator for GTA 5 as well as um, competitive racing for uh, a neat environment. You know, we sort of uh, figured out a solution as a community. Now, this has already been figured out a while back from a few racing crews out there. But I'm sure you, some of you, or most of you may not know this. And uh, we also found a better solution than some of these crews on what they're using with this method. Now, initially, lamp now we all know lampposts are one of the most um, annoying things in racing when bulbs drop out of you know random spots, ra randomly just drops without anyone touching them. This and that, right? So here's the here's the solution for preventing that, right? First of all, well, what you notice is the you know, right right here, the barriers are sort of inside the lamppost. Or in other words, the lamppost is inside the barrier. So this way, it's pretty much impossible to knock over a lamppost. Another thing is, you know, sometimes I ask myself, why on earth, you know, I finally figured this out. Why on earth, you know, do these bulbs drop even though cars are not hitting them? You know, I ask people, I, did you hit that lamppost? And they're like, no. And it's quite simply, it's because um, on our screen, their cars lag all over the place. So a small jitter small little teleportation due to lag with their car can cause their car to hit a lamppost although on their screen they did not hit the lamppost if that makes sense so to prevent this you know even with lag you know if they're lagging all over the place and hit this you know they won't hit the lamppost this way any sort of issue with bulbs dropping and all of that nonsense will be negated and prevented so right away is just gone just a no-no you know this is anaconda grand prix by the way and I've made changes to it, which I'll be making for Xbox 360 as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this, for those of you that don't know. Now, initially, what these other crew members do or from other crews when they design these sort of um, preventions for lampposts, it's not really efficient because what they would do, they put tire stacks in between these lampposts, but that would just make it worse because when you hit the tire stack, you'll hit the lamppost, it's double the impact, double the damage, it was kind of pointless because you've got tires all over the place, you've got bulbs all over the place and you've got the pole all over the freaking, you know, it's just a massive mess. So, you don't want that diarrhea, you've got this solution here. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do this and it's kind of straightforward and honestly, uh, I don't know why I didn't do this before but it's, it's credit, full credit going to Zenzi and um, Oh Mr, they're part of the community amongst the racing scene so uh rules quick what you want to do placement props uh first of all you obviously you can see i'm in the car view you press select get out of that real quick so i'm gonna quickly get rid of this for you get rid of these props okay so the lamppost is there you want to get back into your car view this under content creator by the way of course once you're in your car you want to smack the pole real quick and press down arrow and press select again so you get back into the menu uh so this may not work right away you want to do it again if the pole is still there and it spawns back so now this pole has disappeared now it sort of should be self-explanatory but for those of you that still don't know all you gotta do is do a nice l-shaped design for apex cornering but this is kind of an awkward apex corner initially what i would do right is place a track sort of barrier here and put a barrier here but because of that stupid lamppost i say if a car takes a really awesome inside line and goes like this it's gonna hit that stupid lamppost so what you want to do, you obviously want to design it so it's appropriate for this particular location to avoid hitting that lamppost. So you want to put it somewhere like here, halfway through the lamppost, because this lamppost is a fat motherfucker. So you don't want any any bit of it sticking out. So that bit's there, a little bit of OCD kicking in there. That's my horrible OCD there. And just quite simply put it like this. Also, another little uh, trick or a glitch for good purposes. This is an insane glitch, which, you know, it's it's really awesome. Figured out by old mister. So quite simply, uh, what you want to do, see, there's a limitation to how far you can actually put something next to another prop. But there's always a little gap, and that gap is really annoying, right? Sometimes it can put a racer off if they're approaching the corner at high speeds and they see something out of place. You know, may, may not be the best thing, you know. So what you want to do at this point, right? Now, there's like a sort of you negate the delay if that makes sense. Or how to there's like sort of like a delay between each interval when you move a prop. So there's a delay between this distance and this distance here to um, 
you know the prop goes a faded out if that makes sense so you can't actually place it it will state with exclamation mark cannot place here this area must be clear so what you do at this point you want to sort of negate that so what you do you want to sort of flick your left analog stick down towards the prop or any direction towards the prop and quickly press x at the same time so little, i'm sure you right now down x like that but distance being close to just like leave a small gap so you can do this see that the gap's closed but you can do it even further you can actually push it in towards the prop like this oh wait that was a fail do this again that see that so i sort of flick my left analog stick and press x really quickly so this way the gap's closed and literally the prop is inside the other prop and you could do this with any prop actually as long as you got that timing with the left analog stick as you flick it and press x at the same time so this way now the lamppost has disappeared but it will spawn back again so let me just do that real quick if i go away from the uh initial draw distance now that should be fine let me just go around this hairpin and now you see it should have spawned again yeah so hopefully if i see now if i hit see now obviously if i hit it it won't break and the way I've, the barriers are designed you know it's impossible to knock over this lamppost even if someone is lagging on your screen and they are nowhere near that it's impossible to hit it because you're just going to hit the barrier and their car will just hit the barrier and um it should be clean racing it's quite simply um you know go through here this is also negated there so you know you can't hit that lamppost you come through this section here you can't hit this lamppost and you know that's through it as well these lampposts don't have to worry about because it it's not near the apex quite simply you know the solution is for inside line you know for inside you know racing lines you know the solution is there to avoid any lampposts that are inside you know sort of on the inside line if that makes sense i'm so tired man honestly so you see this is another lamppost on the inside line and to avoid any sort of chaos quite simply you know you get rid of that sort of bulb dropping and bullshit by simple design like that l shape barrier design save saves props and allows two wheel apex cornering for the perfect inside line as well so it's perfect you know nothing wrong with that see i was also sort of thinking whether to prevent this lamppost from dropping as well but that's a that will mean i'll have to reset the lap times that people have spent hours sweating on this track current fastest time on this track by the way is one minute 15 point four six four was set by picano he's about 0 0.6 seconds quicker than the second guy which is rohan so that's kind of insane so that would be kind of extremely disappointing if i were to do that anyway see that dynamic barriers preventing this lamppost on the inside line so that would prevent more chaos and uh yeah i could also i mean like i said for next gen i'll be correcting this track I'll also might probably prevent this lamppost from dropping and you can do this furthermore hopefully um a rock star do implement an option where uh you know they'll, you can remove these lampposts and just have the little stubble on the floor or the foundation of it on the floor you see another one here you simply can't break that it's fucking amazing look at that look at that uh, mm, 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 mm. nine plus ten 21 dun, dun. so yeah it's perfect uh i absolutely love it you should definitely give it a go and also the trick where you can close up the gaps between your props of barriers and whatnot so uh there should not be any issues with that whatsoever here's the thing man although you know we're, we're all very, very small sort of um percentage for the entire community you know like we're like three percent you know who are interested in racing competitive in gta 5 uh, that, that pretty much would state that rockstar would you know give us the least priority out of everyone else uh, of the mainstream audience but um we do it we're doing our best to keep this community alive to keep it more smooth and less frustrating for people because a lot of people put the effort and time to you know keep up with someone after a collision at the start maybe and when they do that and something like a bulb drops out of nowhere and you have no time to react to it and that's it your race is over you're screwed your car goes flying off to some some next shit man so 
you know that that's the reason why we're trying to find these solutions and it's awesome to get this sorted and uh get this out there so definitely for those of you interested in creating tracks and proper race tracks grand prix and whatnot on gta 5 definitely use this method it works out do not use tire stacks that will, they will not help for the lampposts but this method will with l-shaped um barrier designs this is only uh, at the moment a solution for the apex corner rings and inside line corner rings but you can't really do it for every single lamppost that's why i'm saying rockstar although they most likely won't do it because we're a small community it would be nice to bring an option for content creator to remove lampposts for next generation thanks for watching guys if you find this useful be sure to drop a like and let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys soon check it soon now good night peace yeah hey guys you here right here gene welcome back to the top five series this is top five epic racing moments which occurred within competitive environment and rule settings 